Now, for some people, Las Vegas is the happiest place on earth, and it might just be the place to be for spring break and also March Madness. So here with all the fun things you can do is Las Vegas Entertainment, Entertainment, excuse me, a lifestyle journalist, Melinda Shuckles. So good to see you once again. Um, I'm actually going to Las Vegas at the end of March, so I'm going to really pay attention to this because I know spring break is something a lot of people are talking about. So what can people expect going to Las Vegas, being on the Strip for spring break. So there's a lot going on and spring is a great time to come obviously because the weather is really good so you can really take advantage of all of the outdoor activities. Now everybody's also looking for a deal these days so there, I want to bring you a very special one coming from Imagine Exhibition so you can hit three of their most popular attractions which is the Dino Safari over at Bally's and then also the bod Real Bodies exhibit also at Valleys, which is now the Horseshoe. And then also, too, at Luxor, they have the King Tut's Tomb. Now, you can get all three of these attractions on a very special deal for $70, which is essentially a free ticket to one of these attractions. And you don't even have to use it right now. You can use it anytime between now and the end of the year. So if you buy it, can't use it all, come back. It's great. Uh, you can use it again, and it's kid friendly as well. So this is a great way to occupy that spring break week. You take the kids as well and see some really incredible cultural artifacts. You know, it's so funny because a lot of people, when they think of spring break um, and they com combine it with Las Vegas, they might not think about taking the kids. But Las Vegas does have a lot of really kid friendly things that you can do with the family. So that was a great spot, Melinda. Thank you for that. We also have the Venetian getting into the spirit, March Madness spirit. What do you know about this? So this is something you can't bring the kids to, unfortunately, because <laughs> That's it okay. involves, obviously, sports, betting, and drinking, and having fun. But the Venetian is doing their brackets at their stadium venue. So they have this incredible stadium venue that is, you know, 12,000 square feet, and they have all of these screens. They have hundreds of TVs. They even have a nine foot by 16 foot screen. And so you can watch this. It's over two levels. And the stadium also has larger boxes for groups. They have um, single admission tickets. So these range from about $150 to about $750, depending per person, depending on the size of the uh, venue and experience you want to do inclusive of food and beverage. And you this goes from March 21st to March 23rd, and you can bet right on site without leaving your seat, which is even better. That sounds amazing. Okay, we also want to talk about pool season because we're, we're here, right? It already started in Las Vegas. Yeah, we are right on track with pool season. Now the pools have opened all over the city. But I want to tell you about a special one. So if you're you're kind of not into the super club vibe of some of the pools, pool clubs on the strip, you want to check out Bel Air Backyard at Durango Casino, which just opened. It's actually in the southwest of Las Vegas. Beautiful hotel, brand new, and they have a very resort style pool. So they're still going to have DJ entertainment Thursday through Sunday. They're going to have great food. They have, you know, the, their pool deck is also massive with cabanas, but it's going to be a little bit more of a mellow vibe. It won't be like your thumping day club vibe, which is great. Some of us don't want that. They also have a really spectacular food presentations, and they have something that really piqued my interest. It's called the sushi yacht so it's not a sushi boat it's a sushi yacht Ooh. so you can only imagine <laughs> like how much sushi there is in that sushi yacht so i gotta check that out and report back definitely firsthand oh. firsthand reporting on that one <laughs> i'm so hungry now i mean it's perfect time right it's lunch time right now um that was amazing do you have anything else for our foodies i know you're all over the place when it comes to las vegas yeah so i gotta tell you one of the most favorite local spots, Esther's Kitchen, just opened their new location. They are oh, yeah. three times the size. They are consistently ranked top Italian restaurant in Las Vegas. They opened right next door to their former location, and it is three times the size, and they're now open until 2 a.m. <gasps> this is a spot you want to check out if you if you want to have some true off-the-strip local favorite dining it's called Esther's Kitchen, and it's downtown in the Arts District. It's a must-try. 2 o'clock in the morning. You know people are going to be hitting that up for that pizza and the pasta. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So Melinda Shuckles, thank you so much. It's so good to see you and we will see thank you again you. soon. See you soon. Thank you. Of course.